Proctor Climate Control Systems. Today we're here to talk about the back pressure rating of a duct system on a Airtronic series heater. All aspects of the installation should be taken into consideration and the ductwork is very important to consider. One of the most important aspects of it is laying out the back pressures. In the product catalog or the installation manual, you can actually find a rating guide in order to lay the system out. In that guide, it will refer to single duct or dual duct. Single duct would be a simple system just drawing air in, blowing through, and straight out. Dual duct would be drawing air in to a branch, which would therefore be considered multi-duct. It's considered single duct to the branch and multi-duct from the branch. There's back pressure ratings. Every heater has an associated back pressure rating. Today we're going to talk about an Airtronic D2. The D2, if you are using 60 millimeter ductwork, which is the top portion of the diagram, is a back pressure rating maximum of a 6. If you change and use 75 millimeter ductwork, your back pressure decreases which therefore your back pressure rating increases. So 60 millimeter would be six, 75 millimeter would be an allowable of a 12. You would take the numbers of the components off of a napkin sketch that you do prior to your installation, carry it over and follow those numbers associated with the back pressure ratings. So as an example, if you had 60 millimeter duct work, you carry it over to single duct is a one, past a branch would be multi-duct would be a 0.25. Let's look at some of the more com common components. The duct work itself, 60 millimeter duct work, once again, single duct has a back pressure rating of a one. Back pressure rating after a branch into dual duct or multi-duct is a 0.25 because the back pressure decreases because the volume increases. Consideration of what grills you use is very important on the suction side and the outlet side. An outlet grill that's a 60 millimeter flat has a back pressure rating of a 0.5, but on the multi-duct is a 0.15. For a raised grill, you can see changes, a single duct 0.8, dual duct 0.15. But you can go as far as an example, we have one referred to as an eyeball, which protrudes from the wall and rotatable, but its back pressure rating on single duct is actually 3.2, where multi-duct would be 0.8. If you use a closable anywhere, that branch is not considered in your calculations. So you cannot use a closable on single duct system. And if you do multi-duct, whatever branch that closable is on, you do not consider that in your calculations because it can be closed. If you're doing multi-duct, there's multiple fittings you can do that with. You can use T's or Y's. A T actually adds a back pressure of a 1.4 where a Y flows so freely, it actually has no back pressure rating, so it would be considered a zero. To change the hoods, because you can put 60 millimeter on a heater or 75 millimeter on the heater. So if you need to change the hoods, a straight hood has a back pressure of a zero, but a 90 degree hood, if you're doing an installation in a very tight location, a 90 degree hood actually has a very high back pressure and a 90 degree at a 60 millimeter is actually 4.8. Now let's lay out a system very quickly, just so you, as an example. If you look at item one, the inlet grill on this installation is a 0.4. The connector is a zero. The ductwork prior to the heater is a one. The hood is a zero. The ductwork after the heater is a one, the bend is a 0 
and the grill is a 3.2. So if you add all this together equals 5.8, your system is happy. Just to reiterate, on dual duct systems, it's considered single duct up to the branch. After the branch, it is considered dual duct or multi-duct. I hope this helps, and please stay within your back pressure ratings. Have a great day.